Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, state design pattern implementation. Uh, before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, state design pattern introduction, state design pattern real time example, and uh, state design pattern cast diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, now we will see the scenario where we can use uh, state design pattern. Uh, ATM machine behavior is the best example of uh, state design pattern. Uh, suppose say uh, ATM machine internal state is uh, uh, no debit card inserted, uh, meaning uh, the debit card is uh, not inserted in the uh, slot of uh, ATM machine. Uh, then what and all operation you can do? Uh, you can insert the debit card and you cannot eject the debit card because uh, card is not inserted in the ATM machine and uh, you cannot enter the PIN number and withdraw the cash, right? Uh, because uh, you didn't insert the debit card. So only allowed operation is uh, you can insert the debit card. Okay. And uh, suppose say uh, once you have inserted uh, the card is inside the machine. Uh, the So state of uh, uh, the ATM is uh, hash uh, debit card meaning uh, already uh, the debit card is uh, inserted in the ATM uh, machine slot. Then what and all operation you can do. Uh, you cannot insert the debit card because already one card is inserted in the uh, ATM machine uh, slot, right? Uh, so the card is already there in the ATM machine slot. So it allow you to eject the debit card. And uh, uh, other one is uh, you can enter the PIN number and withdraw the money, right? Because card is already inser inserted. So it allow you to enter the PIN number and uh, withdraw the money, right? So if the state is uh, no debit card, then it allow to perform a certain operation. If the state is uh, has debit card, meaning already card is inserted, then it allows to perform uh, some other uh, operations, right? So based on the internal state of uh, ATM machine, uh, the behavior will be different. So this is the best example of uh, state design pattern. Uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed. Uh, here you can see ATM machine state which is interface and uh, this interface has uh, three abstract methods. Uh, first method is insert debit card, second method is eject debit card and uh, third method is enter pin and uh, withdraw money. Uh, this interface is implemented by uh, three concrete classes. Uh, the first one is uh, no debit card state and the second one is has debit card state and the third one is ATM machine. So basically ATM machine has uh, two states. Uh, the first state is uh, no debit card state and the second state is has debit card state. Uh, if the ATM machine in uh, no debit card state, uh, you can do certain things and you can't do certain things. Uh, so suppose say uh, ATM machine in uh, no debit card state. Then what and all operation you can do is uh, you can insert the debit card. But uh, you can't eject the debit card and you can't enter the pin and withdraw the money so that kind of implementation will be uh, done here okay and in hash debit card state uh, what and all uh, operation you can do is you can uh, enter the pin and withdraw the money and you can eject the debit card uh, but you can't insert the debit card because already uh, atm machine slot has one in, uh, one debit card right so you can't insert the debit card so that kind of uh, implementation will be done in uh, hash debit card state and uh, ATM machine uh, which also implements uh, ATM machine state and it provides implementation of uh, insert debit card, exit debit card and uh, enter pin and withdraw money okay and this ATM machine uh, maintain the internal state okay so once you insert the debit card uh, then ATM machine internal state will be changed to hash debit card state okay so once you eject the debit card then ATM machine uh, internal state will be changed to no debit card state so that kind of logic will be uh, uh, written inside the ATM machine uh, uh, insert debit card eject debit card and enter pin and withdraw money methods okay and uh, here you can see a client uh, which is used to explain this uh, uh, state design pattern it has a main method okay so I will open Eclipse and I will show you the code so that you will understand very clearly. Uh, I have opened Eclipse. Uh, now we will see the code. Uh, so here you can see the interface uh, ATM machine state and it has uh, three abstract methods. 
uh, inside debit card as a debit card and uh, enter pin and withdraw money uh, so atm machine has uh, uh, two states uh, the one is uh, no debit card state another one is has debit card state so you can see uh, no debit card state which implements uh, atm machine state and uh, provide implementation of uh, inside debit card eject debit card and uh, enter pin and withdraw money so in uh, no debit card state uh, we can't do eject the debit card and uh, we can't do uh, enter the pin number and withdraw the money so i just put uh, uh, no debit card in atm machine start so you cannot eject the debit card uh, no debit card in ATM machine start so you cannot enter the pin and withdraw the money so only operation you can do is uh, you can insert the debit card so I put uh, system.out.pin alone here okay and has debit card state uh, it implements uh, ATM machine state and uh, provide implementation of uh, insert debit card eject debit card and enter pin and withdraw money so in has debit card state uh, you can do uh, uh, enter the pin number and uh, withdraw the money but uh, you can't insert the debit card because already a debit card is inside the ATM machine slot and uh, you can eject the debit card because uh, ATM machine has the uh, debit card right uh, so I put uh, system dot out pin alone for all this uh, uh, functionality uh, next class is ATM machine uh, class uh, which is concrete class and it implements uh, ATM machine state and it also provide implementation of uh, uh, insert debit card uh, eject debit card and uh, enter pin and withdraw money so basically what it will do is uh, it will call uh, ATM machine state uh, insert debit card or eject debit card or uh, uh, enter pin and withdraw money okay uh, so this ATM machine which maintains the internal uh, uh, state so internal state can be no debit card or uh, as debit card okay so it has uh, getter and setter methods for uh, uh, ATM machine state okay so insert debit card what it will do is it will call uh, ATM machine state uh, insert debit card uh, once card is inserted uh, then the ATM machine state will be moved to has debit card state okay so that logic is written here and eject debit card it will call uh, uh, eject debit card method of uh, ATM machine state ATM machine state can be a uh, no debit card state or uh, uh, has debit card state okay so once card is uh, uh, ejected successfully uh, then uh, the state will be moved from uh, has debit card state to uh, no debit card state okay and enter pin and uh, withdraw money uh, which will just call uh, enter pin and withdraw money of uh, uh, ATM machine state uh, ATM machine state can be no debit card state or uh, has debit card state okay and uh, next class is uh, client so here uh, what I am doing is uh, I am trying to perform uh, various operations in the ATM machine I am trying to insert the card uh, eject the card and enter the pin and withdraw money okay so initially ATM machine will be in uh, uh, no debit card state so in that state I am trying to perform uh, enter pin and withdraw money and uh, trying to perform eject debit card trying to perform uh, insert debit card so we will see what and all uh, will happen I will run the code and uh, I will show you the output so initially ATM machine in uh, no debit card state so in no debit card state uh, only thing you can do is you can uh, insert the debit card right so you can see uh, no debit card is in ATM slot you cannot enter the pin and withdraw the money okay so I am trying to enter the pin and withdraw money in uh, no debit card state so it is not allowed uh, then I am trying to eject the debit card that is also not allowed uh, then I am trying to insert so insert is allowed so once the debit card is inserted ATM machine uh, internal state has been moved to has debit card state okay so now uh, ATM machine current state is has debit card state so in uh, has debit card state what and all I can do is I can uh, uh, enter the pin and withdraw the money and I can eject the debit card uh, but I can't insert the debit card because already debit card is uh, there in the ATM machine slot so I can see that output okay so finally uh, uh, once a card is ejected uh, that internal state is moved to no debit card state so current state of ATM machine is no debit card state okay
so this is a very good example of uh, state design pattern so how the internal state of uh, ATM machine has uh, uh, moved from one state to another state and based on the state uh, the behavior of the ATM machine will be uh, different okay so that is what we captured here um, uh, I hope uh, you understand uh, state design pattern implementation very clearly and I have put together all this uh, sample code in my blog called uh, RomJTE. So you can just visit this uh, site and uh, get this uh, sample codes. And uh, this is about uh, state design pattern implementation. And thanks for watching. Bye.